Well, it is Cyhawk Week, and it got rolling tonight as the Iowa State women took on the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Cyclones ranked 10th, Iowa ranked 16th. The Cyclones entered the game 6-1, and one, the Hawkeyes 6-3. and three. This was the 53rd meeting between the two programs. The Hawkeyes led the all-time series 29-23 going into tonight. Iowa had won five out of the last six matchups. Well, how about tonight? Well, let's get to it. And everybody fired up in Iowa City as yes, Cyclones are ready. Caitlin Clark. She is always ready to go. Opening quarter, here comes Ashley Jones and the three-pointer. And the Cyclones and Hawkeyes were tied after the opening quarter. Second quarter, Caitlin Clark getting busy. Gives the Hawkeyes a 17-15 lead with that nice step-back three-pointer. Cyclones, though, battling here in the opening half. Lexi Donarski on the break. The layup is in. And Iowa State had a five-point lead at halftime, 28-23. Second half, here come the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark, catch and shoot three, and the Hawkeyes are up four, 38-34. End of the quarter, you want some teamwork? Well, you got it. After a few missed shots here by the Hawkeyes, Addison O'Grady is going to be right in the right place at the right time. Puts it in for a buzzer beater, and it was 50-36 to 36 Hawkeyes after three. Fourth quarter, Caitlin Clark on the fly, in for two. Well, the All-American Caitlin Clark, what a night. 19 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, five steals. And Iowa wins it 70 to 57. And Blake Hornstein has our postgame report from Iowa City. The Hawkeyes weren't doing great offensively to start the first half. Superstar point guard Caitlin Clark shot two for 14 in the first 20 minutes. But it was the Hawkeyes' defense that won them the game over the Iowa State Cyclones. They limited the Cyclones to just 36% shooting overall and ended the third quarter on a 19 to 2 run. Unbelievable job defensively. That third quarter, probably one of the best third quarters I've seen. Um, but you know, when you look at paint points, that we have more paint points, 26 to 16. And when you consider they're 6-6 six, six inside, that makes you feel pretty good. We had more rebounds than they did, turned them over more. Um, it was just a, a really, really good game. And um, I'm really happy for my team. First half wasn't my best, um, and I don't think it was really anything that they were doing. I felt like I got good to good spots, got some good shots, and you know, sometimes that's just how the game of basketball goes. It just doesn't go in, but I think it just shows how I've matured over the past two years. Um, you know, in the past, that would completely take me out of my game, but I knew in the third quarter, you know, the shots have to go down. Just trust the work that you've put in, uh, help my teammates get involved, um, and that's exactly what I did. I think I only missed one shot in the second half, took the ones that were open for myself, and then obviously I found Monica a lot inside, which helped open up things for everybody else and then obviously Kate Martin has a tremendous game and really you know gives us that extra boost. Now the bad blood between the Cyclones and the Hawkeyes isn't leaving Iowa City anytime soon. The men play on Thursday night here at Carver Hawkeye Arena and the women will be back here as well on Saturday when they take on Minnesota. In Iowa City, Blake Hornstein, Hawkeye Headquarters. Thank you Blake. The Illinois women with